Hello Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is Trixie here with Pick a Trix. I am going to be getting a May of 2023 reading going for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Welcome to the channel. Whether you're new or returning, thank you for hitting that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button down below. As always, I am not a licensed physician, so if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor, Capricorns. <clears throat> You're, you are going to want to watch all of your big four to get a total picture of what's going on. I have a, a mystical moments to row here today, Capricorn. It does have um, 83 cards in the deck. The card came out, but Spirit was like, no, we're not ready. Um, Capricorn, I feel like you might not be ready for something in the month of may or like you feel like you're not ready or you're you feel more ready than you are there's something about um changing your circumstance all right so let's see here i'm going to clarify the mystical moments with uh the sun and moon and then i'm going to uh, come back to the mystical moments so the page of cups your higher self is really trying to get your attention we have the five of cups for the first week of the month we have the Queen of Swords for the second month, the second week of the month. We have the Queen of Cups for the third week of the month. We have the Ten of Cups for the fourth week of the month. Wow, this is almost the polar opposite energy. Virgo. Um, so in the first week of the month, I do see here where you might be focused on what you don't have. Or you could be realizing you have an addiction to something or it's time to let go of what you don't have in some capacity. Um, the second week of the month with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're very focused on some very particular aspect of your life. And you might wanna go research blue jays or bluebirds and their spiritual meaning. As in the second week of the month, I see where you've almost put yourself or somebody else on a pedestal and it's time to take them down off that pedestal. The Queen of Cups in, in the third week of the month tells me that what you go through in the first and second week really allows you to embrace some piece of harmony and, and um, self-awareness that you've been trying to attain. Um, I see here where your even your abundance and your socioeconomic status could increase in the third week of the month. Paired with the fourth week of the month that has the Ten of Cups, that just reiterates what I've already said. Um, a pot of gold is coming in by the end of the month for you here, Capricorn. Let's take the sun and moon and clarify here of the five of cups. What's going on in the first week of the month with the five of cups? Six of cups. Wow. Yeah, I, I reiterates what I said. Like you, I think in the first week of the month, you're realizing that by focusing on what you don't have, you manifest more of that. And so you're probably going to go have a lot of fun, enjoy life a lot with several different people or friends. Um, somebody that's like a polar opposite might come in in the first week of the month and you might really enjoy life with that. Um, there are lotus flowers on here. So whatever you've been struggling to come out of the mud and the muck and really find the beauty in, I feel like by the third week of the month, you're seeing the beauty in life. I'm going to write that down. And because of that, you're really starting to advance forward and move forward in a very harmonious manner. Let's get two more cards here. Um, you and your higher self are just really on fleek together. Uh, I can't even make this up. The hero font came out. It's like every time that you're doubting yourself, you're thinking about who and what you've been surrounding yourself with. Um, in Capricorn, if you don't have a lot of people, I feel like the first week of the month, you're going to put yourself out there in some capacity and step out of comfort zone and ask for help from somebody or something that's completely out of the ordinary for you to ask for help from. Um, I do see here where you are going to commit and connect with somebody that really allows you to laugh and play and enjoy life in many aspects. Um, <clears throat> I think you're getting yourself a little bit tangled up in some capacity with the outcome or um, whether or not you should commit. And if you're questioning it um, and you're doubting yourself, that's where you need to go learn the lesson. Why are you doubting yourself? Say yes to this so that you can get out of your head. Um, stop pushing something away because I, I think you're with this five of cups. Um, when you finally recognize that you're focused on a very particular thing in your life and you keep manifesting more of that, 
you are going to step completely outside of that belief system or that prescription and um, go enjoy something you've been wanting to enjoy for quite some time, but because of the focus on what you don't have, you haven't permitted yourself to go have fun. And when you go have fun, you're gonna be like, oh my God, why did I wait so long for this? Well, you were a little bit fearful, that's okay. You were fearful that it could never be the way that it used to be. The judgment card here. Yeah, coming out of your shell, um, coming out of your comfort zone, hearing the calling, knowing that something is meant for you, knowing that you are not going to be judged in that situation, that it's going to be actually a lot of fun, a lot of pleasure. Um, you are going to commit to some new belief system, new friendship, new connection, um, something that is connected to you in more ways than just in the physical, okay? What's this Queen of Swords here in the second week of the month for Capricorns? The fool in reverse. Yeah, I said this. You, it's almost like you're not, you feel like you're not ready for something. And I almost feel like you're going to get pushed off the ledge. Like somebody's going to make you go do something that, that asks a lot more of you or that asks you to um, commit and engage in some way, shape, or form. I'm not going to get that card. Um, in the second week of the month, you see something coming before it happens. And that gratitude for your knowing, your abilities, your visions, some of you are like a massive impact. And the reason that you're empathetic is because you grew up in a toxic environment. And that toxic environment prepared you for what you go through in the second week of the month. And that's what you don't feel ready for. It's almost like, it's almost like Capricorn in the second week of the month. You're a little bit defensive. You're a little bit abrasive. You might not be emotionally present in the second week of the month, but it's because you're you're trying to discern whether or not the past is repeating your, itself. And I think you're allowing yourself to trust your intuition and go through whatever it is you're going through in the second week of the month so that you can confirm and reiterate with yourself, like, yeah, I'm on the right path. Yeah, five of swords. Your defenses are up in the second week of the month. Um, Okay, um, because when you finally drop them, you're going to have a rebirth. You're going to rise from some sort of circumstance um, that just no longer is meant to go forward with you. You cannot bring it forward. Um, <clears throat> you already know the ending that's coming in the second week of the month as you're watching this. I think that that's the problem is you're like, oh my God, I don't want this ending to happen. I'm not ready for this. But in all reality, you are. And every resource that you could ever dream of is already there for you to advance forward. Some of you are really strong Mars and or Scorpio placement, but during this Mercury retrograde um, is really coming into focus for you and you're working with it, uh, even though I think it scares you. There's definitely some inner conflict though there in that second week. Uh, Queen of Cups. You know, Mercury is in retrograde, so somebody who unintentionally caused pain and suffering in your past may come back in during the second week of the month, but that isn't going to be for everybody, okay? What's this Queen of Cups here in the third week of the month? Three of Cups. Damn, homie. Yeah, I don't Whatever you go through and you step outside that comfort zone in the first and second week, it leads to some, some abundance, some success. Wow. Queen of Cups and a Prince of Cups? And an eight of pentacles. True happiness in the third week of the month. You're mastering emotional presence, emotional wherewithal, the ability to celebrate your wins. I feel like you're Capricorn, you've never really allowed yourself to celebrate when you've achieved something. You just moved on to the next achievement. And I feel like in the third week of the month, unexpectedly, you are going to celebrate something in your life that you deserve to celebrate. <clears throat> What's this Ten of Cups in the fourth week of the month? Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, making a choice, and the King of Wands. So yeah, um, remember that the Page of Wands becomes a King of Wands. 
he goes from being a poor boy to a rich man. Paired with this Ace of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups and a Seven of Cups, I feel like you are choosing to allow yourself to embrace a new way of life. The Nine of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. So that is a Ten of Pentacles there for you. Um, lots of ab abundance, lots of happiness, a lot of, um, it's, it's like self-made millionaire. Ooh. status by the end of the month okay um let's use this mystical moments to close out each of these weeks um, i really feel like whatever lessons and advancements improvements uh, that you go through throughout the month of may mercury retrograde is really slowing you down to ask you to address some inner conflicts some issues that you're having with committing to your higher self your higher your north star your purpose um, it's slowing you down so that you know you're in your energy and your energy alone here, Capricorn. Five of Cups. Ooh, the star. Wow. The Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Hierophant, the Judgment, and the star for the first week of the month. So being pointed in the direction of your North Star, really embracing that you have gone through all that you have to, that you need to stop focusing on what you don't have in the darkness in the past and make a wish in the first week of the month. Make that wish come true. Allow the universe to provide you with that wish by the end of the month, sans how it turns out. What's the um, Queen of Swords, the Fool, the Five of Swords, and the Death or Rebirth paired with the Nine of Wands? Yeah, I do see here in the second week of the month, you're, it's going to take a lot of work for you, Capricorn, to trust the process in the second week of the month. I, I You know, I, I see here where this really big ending is coming in in the second week of the month that you genuinely don't feel ready for the new start. Um, you're really stressed out and worried about that fresh start. It's almost like it's almost like when you receive a yes, but you were hoping for a no. I see this polarized energy and that yes that you receive is the exact yes that you need to stop wearing your like battle wounds as, you know, badges of honor, um, where you can put in the effort and know that you've put in all the work already, um, that anything that you do moving forward is never going to be as difficult as it used to be. Uh, life is just getting easier by the second week of the month for you here, Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Page of Cups, or nope, that's the Prince of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. Whoa, we got too many cards out here, but I'm going to go ahead and bring them in. Um, the Temperance, the Eight of Cups, and the Emperor. Wow. Um, trust your intuition, okay, because you have the Masculine Emperor here, you have Temperance, and you have the Eight of Cups. You need to trust your intuition in the third week of the month because whatever you are going through, um, it is divinely orchestrated to bring you in connection with your legacy. It is your idea and your idea alone. It does not involve any other people. You are going to be the boss. You are going to be the leader. This is your baby and you are mastering divine timing. You are mastering emotional clarity, emotional wherewithal and presence. And I feel like in the third week of the month, you are a huge guiding light to how other people can attain the success that you receive. Wow. So the fourth week of the month has the King of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Wands. And this isn't just any King of Cups. This is a feminine King of Cups. She's emotionally present. She's emotionally aware of the life that she would like to create for herself. And she's doing it from a place of a masculine energy. The chariot is on the bottom of the deck. So you're coming into some huge alignment here with your soul. And it's very emotionally pleasurable. And it's going to bring you monetary abundance by the fourth week of the month. And I do see here where you are changing socioeconomic statuses. Where once you were poor, you were becoming rich in some area of your life and people are most likely going to want to emulate that after you this reading is beautiful Capricorn it came through very effortlessly it flowed right in um, and I feel like that's what this month is about I do see you're in the second week of the month where you are going to struggle with a yes that you get there's some yes that you are given that you are rebirthing uh, some type of yes, and because of that, everything shifts and changes in your life. You're committing in some capacity, and it scares you in the second week of the month. The first week is here to, you know, prepare you. You wished for this, what this, what goes down. I'm going to close out this whole reading with the sun and moon to row one more time. 
the devil in reverse. There you are. Yeah. You're shedding an old way of doing things. Okay. Um, really letting go of some attachment, some way of doing life. Um, and I feel like by the second week of the month, you, you're you just like, yep, this is for me. Uh, I'm going to keep saying yes. It's easier to say yes than no. I'm going to say yes to things that I want to say no to because those are the yeses that are going to lead me to a path of divine uh, intervention, divine success, things that are going to be very emotionally uh, fulfilling and uh, pleasurable for your life and not just emotionally pleasurable and fulfilling but they're going to provide you with a very stable and prosperous life moving forward okay so i hope that this helps make sure that you're checking out all of your big four to get a total picture and i'll get at you next time